hello guys welcome back in the last lecture we have discussed all about the FTP account in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can use FTP account to upload the website a static website I will teach you how you can upload the dynamic league website like PHP but this time you need to know how you can use that so I go to again FTP accounts and I'm gonna create another account and I will assign the particular directory that will help us to manage the files or upload the files inside our particular directory or particular domain so I'm gonna write the uh, FTP account like uh, pro and I'm gonna select the domain like uh, subdomain tutorials.alansai.com and I'm gonna hit the password and again password and I remove the path and I need to go on file manager and we need to get the complete path of the alansai tutorials alansai.com so where it is here so you need to copy this one path and paste on there and another important thing on there if you remember the path you can use on there like this way public underscore HTML and you need to use uh, just a minute what I use pro and password again same password and I'm gonna use public underscore HTML and then slash tutorials right you can use this way so uh, already created okay so that FTP account after this one process has been created as you can see but I'm gonna delete that and I delete that I will create this one so assign the limit or quota but I use unlimited and create account right so we have made the account with the name of pro this one so click to configure and enter the username like this one copy that and go to FTP account and paste on the username on there and hit the password and click to connect don't change the host name the host name is the same you need to click on click connect okay and there we go guys as you can see in the right side have all files which represent your subdomain but I want to upload another website on there so I'm gonna select all the folders without this one right click it and click to delete but before delete the I'm gonna show you this one domain on the web and I also upload I have uploaded this one uh, site on the another directory like Udemy I want to upload this one website on my subdomain like this one so first thing first you need to remove the files and folders from there and you need to wait and you will able to see all files will be removed from your particular directory I'm gonna show you on the file manager after deleting the files I'm gonna show you the file manager guys the folders and files have been removed from my server let's check out the site first you can't see anything else let's check out the current directory from the cpanel or file manager refer that I go to again uh, public underscore HTML and tutorials 
you can't find anything else right so i want to upload the website with the help of uh, filezilla so let's see i have a same site like this one i'm gonna open that right so i want to upload this one website on my this one domain this is a subdomain but you can use same method to upload the website on your any domain right so i open the file a uh, filezilla and i select the desktop inside the desktop have a folder my resume and all the files are appear on there i'm going to select all the files without a set basically set is a zip file inside the zip file have all the folders and files we don't need to use the this one we just select that and drag and drop on the server side that's it you need to wait and this take a time to upload the files and folder inside your server side then you will able to see your particular site will be appear on your live server and also uh, the all files will upload it on your file manager so i think it's take uh, more than one minute 50 second i think because the file not too large so i refer this one uh, let's see public underscore html and where is it tutorials here is tutorials and all files not all files but many files are uploading so we need to wait i think uh just a minute it's uh more than 1.2 mb file size in the right side as you can see uh only on kbs and i think you will able to see message on there your site will be ready to open with live server so there we go guys as you can see you have seen the message your files has been transferred on live server so i'm going to close that and let's check it now first i'm going to open my uh, particular domain and there we go guys as you can see my site has been ready on live server as you can see tutorials.alunsay.com and let's open that again tutorials folder and all files and folders appeared on my file manager are inside the tutorials folder let's see how you can uh, update that for example this is my local site i'm going to show you local site and this is the address of the local site i want to change for example about to about me and i open that in my editor and let's see where it is about i'm gonna change that to about me this is my local site right save that and i want to update this one file on my live server with the help of filezilla so you need to go on again file manager and you need to drag first i think we need to check that or oh, this is my local server refer that and let's see yes this is my local project or uh, this site is open with the help of my computer or local computer but i want to update that so let's see i open that my filezilla and i just drag and drop into uh, live server then you will able to see override method you need to click on override and click to ok and it's taken more than perfect let's see this is a live site open that and over the mouse as you can see the change the about me has been changed about text has been changed right so this is a usage of a ftp account you can use that to manage your files and also you can use that to assign the particular directory particular domain with any other person who will manage your site so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture